Welcome back to the Veg Inspired Kitchen and another recipe video just for you. This recipe comes to us from the 30 minute whole food plant-based cookbook. So this is my first cookbook and this recipe is the perfect marinara sauce. It's the last page of the book. Most people don't even get to it, but it is one of the most popular recipes in the book because it's incredibly fast and Pasta is one of those easy plant-based items that you can make that everybody likes. It's very familiar. And so when I teach my clients in the Successfully Plant-Based program how to incorporate more plant-based meals, we always talk about using familiar foods. Pasta sauce is a familiar food. Typically though, you buy it from a, in a jar and it has, you know, can have oil. And if you're oil free, you don't want that. It might have more salt. You don't want that. You know, might have sugars and different things. You might have cheese. And so if you're trying to be plant-based, you may not want all of those ingredients. And so we created the most amazing perfect marinara. And today I'm going to show you a half batch. The full recipe, the recipe in the cookbook makes, uses two cans of tomatoes, which actually gives you about two batches or one large batch that you, you know, might use for a pound and a half of pasta. This is perfect for, for John and I to make a pound of pasta. And with this recipe video, I'm going to show you the perfect marinara in half. We're only going to use one can. Now, I always say to people, this is so fast, it's literally just opening a can of tomatoes, which is the part that takes the longest, right? Especially if you have to use a manual can opener like I do. So I use crushed tomatoes. This batch just happens to have basil in it, crushed tomatoes with basil from Whole Foods. Um, but you can use any crushed tomatoes that you find. They don't have to have basil. You can look for a salt-free option. Uh, we just use this one because this was what was available this week. So you empty your crushed tomatoes right into the pan, your saucepan, and then you're going to add in four minced, four cloves of garlic minced, which is about a nice heaping tablespoon of garlic, one tablespoon of Italian seasoning, one teaspoon of onion powder. I'm always a little generous with my onion powder. One teaspoon of paprika gives a little something. One teaspoon or maybe a little heaping teaspoon of nutritional yeast. Now I want to pause for a minute and talk about Foods Alive. Foods Alive has amazing clean products. Um, they do have some dressings that have oil, so maybe skip those if you don't eat oil. But their nutritional yeast is unfortified, very clean, and you can shop at Foods Alive by going to foodsalive.com slash veginspired. There is an affiliate code as well as a coupon code for you, veginspired24. I'll put all of that in the description below, but if you want to give this nutritional yeast a try, we highly recommend it. We use it in a lot of our soups, our pasta sauces, for our pasta toppings. We, we use it a lot and we love it. One teaspoon of pure maple syrup. And a fourth of a tea, an eighth of a teaspoon of fresh cracked pepper or an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper. And then that's it. We just stir it up, bring it to a simmer and simmer it over low heat for about 20 to 25 minutes. Really, you'll start to smell it and it's so good. And in the meantime, you can cook up your favorite pasta. And if you want to make what we're making today, which is the lentil goulash, you can also either cook up some lentils while this is cooking or you can open a can of lentils. So let me get this cooking and get my pasta and we'll be right back with you. All right, welcome back. We have our cooked pasta. So you can use any pasta you want. You can use your, your bean pastas, your lentil pastas. We love Zen B pasta. It is a uh, pea pasta or a pasta, gluten-free pasta made with, with split yellow peas. I can put a link in the description below because I do have a coupon code for them. Anyway, any pasta you want, you can use that. This is a pound of pasta. So we use the pound of pasta and then we're going to add two cups of, this is cooked lentils. So two cups of cooked lentils. Now we really like lentils. You could try this recipe using a can of cooked lentils. Um, you could try this with only one cup of lentils. You know, it really depends on if you, if you love lentils like we do, you might want to use a lot. So this is what we have so far, lentils and pasta. And if you want to see that mixed together, we'll just spoon it around, mix it in. 
And then our last step is going to be to add that perfect marinara. And remember, it was just one 28 ounce can. So if you do follow the recipe in the 30 minute whole food plant-based cookbook, you're only gonna use half. And the other half you can throw in the freezer for another day. You can put in your fridge for up to five days for later in the week. You could divide it into two containers and use it for pizza sauce or anywhere, anywhere else you might use pasta, pasta sauce or marinara sauce. And I love my goulash nice and saucy. So now we've got sauce, pasta, lentils, and we're just gonna give it a nice big stir. Really get that sauce into those noodles. We are using Pipe Regate, the Whole Foods organic pasta. Um, but this works well with shells, it works well with elbows, fusilli. You could make more of a meat sauce with spaghetti or linguine or fettuccine. I mean, it's the options are endless and it's so, it's so good. So good. So I'm gonna dish this out into my bowl. Just a couple scoops for now. I've got a big kale salad waiting on the side. If you want the kale salad recipe, let me know in the comments down below. And then what I like to do is I like to top this with our homemade nutritional yeast, almond meal, almond flour, Parmesan inspired shaker cheese and you just give it a little shake right on top of your noodles oh yeah oh my gosh so excited I I love pasta I love this goulash mm. you can really taste the basil and the garlic in the pasta sauce what I love is it's very nostalgic to the way my mom used to make like a pasta with meat sauce or a goulash when I was little. The lentils pack in a great amount of protein and satiety, satiety. They make you feel full, right? And so you don't need to eat as much pasta because you're grabbing up all those lentils. Let me know in the comments if you're going to make this. Also hit that subscribe button for more free recipes from me in the coming weeks. I'm so excited to be back on YouTube and I can't wait to share more of my favorite recipes, both ones from my cookbooks and new ones that we're developing every day. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great night and live veg inspired. Bye.